Hey guys, today we have this classic year 2000 Toyota Camry. We'll be replacing the oil pump with these. And um, because they have a common problem for these, um, it's leaking right by the timing cover, but technically it's the oil pump is leaking there. I'll show you underneath. And with these, you have to remove the timing belt and the timing um, cover for this one. So we gotta be replacing that too. But we're focusing on oil pump replacement for this one. All right, let's get move this up. All right. So first thing what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and remove the negative battery terminal for this one because um, we're gonna be disconnecting the alternator here. This wire is here, we're gonna be disconnecting that um, in order to <clears throat> remove this belt here. This alternator needs to come off. And we're gonna get this um, dog bone and the bracket in the way so we can have access with the um, timing belt cover. Okay, so we get the negative ba um, battery disconnected. This positive post on this alternator, you just have to, there's a cover, just pry it flat screw or this clip removal and this is a size 10 we just remove these and I will disconnect this clip here too so and from here we can disconnect the, um, the AC connector here underneath see this line it goes down here I'm just gonna disconnect that just to make some room you might need there you go, remove that. So we can put the wires further back. Out. Once that disconnect, we have another one to disconnect this, the back side here. We're gonna disconnect this too. We're gonna push this and pull it. There you go. So now this is disconnected. We're gonna go ahead and just set it aside. Put it here. What we're gonna do next is, let's go ahead and remove this dog bone here. This one here. Um, let me get the um, the socket. So this dog bone, dog bone. This is size 14 socket. I'm just gonna remove these. Once you got this removed, let me see another one. There you go. Should be easy to. Get it off. You can check this if this is good or bad. I think this is still pretty good. So I'm gonna leave this here so I won't forget how it's orientation. So put that on top. And the next thing we can go ahead and disconnect this um ground cable. This is just um a clip. There's two of them. There's one here, there's one over here. Okay, and set this on the side. Take it out and away. And next step is removing this um, alternator. We're gonna loosen it by loosening this side here. Looks like a size 12. Let's see if it's size 12. This side is size 12, there you go. We're gonna loosen this one so we can remove the belt. Okay, so go ahead and loose this side here. Once you got this loose, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this um, the top side and that will move the, uh, the belt here. So that, then we can be able to remove this belt. There you go. And put this belt on the side. Let's remove this out. Okay, once we remove this belt, Go ahead, check it if they're looking good. This is still good, we can still reuse that. And then the next thing we do is remove this um, alternator. We have a couple of clips here. Actually, let's see. Got one here, look like a size 14 or 12. And I'm gonna remove the whole bracket here. The bracket or no, we can just remove this here. 
just can remove it this piece here you see this how it removed you can remove these so we don't have to remove the bracket so I'll make sure to remove this one here see see that one and this one should be able to remove too the one we just loosen this can be removed <clears throat> back it off all the way yeah I don't know what okay here you go I'm gonna put this back here so I won't lose it and we have a size um, I think it's 14 let's check it it's 14 nope what size is that it's 13 um, this is 14 here we're gonna lose this size 14, so we remove the alternator. You can see this right here, size 14 there. Okay. Size 14 here, and then this should come out. Okay. There you go. Now it's out. I'm just gonna put this back here so I won't forget. Okay. Same thing here. I'm gonna put this in the side, the alternator. I might as well just put this back here so I won't forget either. This one here, I'll put it back okay. here. The next thing we're gonna remove this is a dog bone um, bracket. Just like a 14 millimeter here. And underneath there, in the side, I think we might need to reach it down underneath. There's two more size 12. As you can see, there are a lot of oil leaks there, so we're gonna clean it up a little bit. So okay, we get to access that side panel right here by the crankshaft. We're gonna go ahead and remove the wheels first. Let's go ahead and pry this cover. Ooh, look at that. Nice, huh? See that? <laughs> and then let's remove these. Okay, lug these lug nuts are 21 millimeter sockets. Get them all. Let's go ahead, drop one of these. Let's see. It's gonna be heavy. All right. Oh, that's like a mess. It's a little bit of a mess. You see down here, we have a lot of oil leaks right there, as you can see. That's the oil. Oil pump. It's messing as you can see right there. That's all the um, all coming out there. So we're gonna be replacing that. Let's go ahead. Um, let's go remove these first. This cover, yeah, 10 millimeter bolts. All right, this cover is out. Then we got this area here. I'm gonna leave the bolts here so I won't lose them. Before I continue removing some stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of these real quick so I can see what I'm working on. See all that leaky there. Yep. That is, re that is really crazy. It, look, it looks like the oil pump is brand new, so it looks like they didn't seal it properly. That's why it's still leaking. So, I'm gonna deal with this one now. Okay, so before I continue removing the bracket, the dog bone bracket, um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this belt from the power steering belt. Um, see this 12 bolt, a gold one here? That's the adjustment for the power steering to tighten the belt. I'm gonna lose that one. Just a couple turns, I'm not gonna remove this one. Once you have that loosened, to be able to be able be able to remove this one here. Um, it's a it's a 12 millimeter bolt again on top that we can turn. I'm gonna use a a ratchet for that. I mean, I'm gonna Let's use see. the socket. For, I mean, socket a wrench for this, of course, and wrench. 
Let's see, I think it's on the top. I'm trying to see which one is it. Okay, so to loosen this one, you gotta find that bolt from the top. I don't know if you can see my my wrench. Not that bolt there, but this is the one higher up. Not sure if you can see it. But it's up there. That one, your finger up there. So you have that and then you're gonna turn counterclockwise. Push this. There you go, start moving. I don't want to start moving, you can remove this belt. You can remove this belt to start from the power steering side. Okay, now the pump is out. I mean, the belt is out. We're gonna set that aside, check the belt, it's looking good. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the, the one for the uh, the bracket for the dog bomb should be still up there. There's two more right there. There's 12 bolts right there. You're gonna remove that so we can remove the bracket fully. All right, so the dog bone is out. Let's try to remove these, so see if we can just, nope. I think we might need to remove one of these bolts here just to be, um, safe. I got one more I need to remove. This one here. A size 12. Well, size 14. So those are size 14, by the way. This one here. Um, didn't have to remove the whole bracket here, but I did it already. I thought it would be easier to do that. So you didn't have to remove these. It's just this bolt here. I'm showing you right now. Here is a dog bone bracket. Let's see if it can come out. There you go. That's the other two that we just removed on the bottom. So that's out. This one you didn't have to remove it, but I already did. So we're already here. Just, just gonna leave it like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is remove the the clips for these wires see these wires here need to remove just gonna push this out I'm gonna remove it out from the timing on um, timing belt cover so this will come out pretty easy look at this someone actually removed this before I didn't even know that's fine, we're just gonna move this out in a way. Then, from here, a couple bolts, 10 millimeter bolts, just go ahead, remove it all around. So we can access it. I'm gonna show you where's the location once I remove it. So you can see this car has been replaced 67,000 miles for the timing belt replacement. And this can be um, 131,000 miles right now. Well, we replacing I got it. this removed. Um, I only have one, two, three bolts here. The, the last one here is open. Someone removed it already, didn't put it back. So we still have the bottom part we're gonna remove. Um, let me see um, where we're gonna access that one. All right, now we have that removed. We're gonna go ahead and line up our timing marks. When you look up here from our crankshaft, See that mark there? Let's see if I can show you. Zoom it just a little bit. That one is our mark right here. And the zero mark there. We're gonna line that up. And we have this 19 millimeter bolt. On the crankshaft, we're gonna use this 19 millimeter socket and turn it clockwise. And see if we can turn it and line it up. Slowly. Lining it up all the way to the zero. That's the timing mark. Make sure it's lined up. I think that's lined up. Then from there, we're gonna see the timing mark from the camshaft if it's lined up. 
now we're gonna keep rotating does it have a marking there can't even tell i don't think it's lined up i think that's the marking there so we're gonna keep speeding until the timing marks is lined up on top side so i'm gonna keep spinning i think that's it See if I spin it, I think that's what it is. This one is a timing mark, the circle one. Okay, that's right. Because there's no way that should be. I'm just gonna clean this up and then that's it. All right, if you're not sure that you have the top, the camshaft aligned from the marks, because you couldn't really see it. See, this is what I did. I spin it just a little bit over and you can see here, let me see, on the back side, there's a marking right there on the back side. See that? From the hole, you're gonna line it to that. Let me, let me get, if I can get my finger to that one. There you go. So, this is your marking in the back side. And you can't really see it so you're gonna align it there with this hole so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep spinning again i'm gonna keep spinning here until this marking is on top I keep spinning again keep going Let's see all right so you can see here I'm coming along with the marking already. That's the mark on the top. A little bit more turn, but from here, I'm not fully aligned yet. Where is it? There you go. So I'm going to keep spinning. We'll see. Here. See, this guy did not align it properly because. He had a mark there and the marking is on the dot in there but this one is marked on the 1.5 marking not on the zero so this actually not timed properly so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead line the bottom part and i'm just gonna move this back just slightly see put it in a zero the crank is more important than this one I'm lying at zero right there and this is not quite aligned but I can push it back just a tad bit see that that's his alignment there he had a paint mark there so this is not properly aligned so anyway we're gonna start removing this crank crankshaft here I have this big um, Pop it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. See, this is 19 millimeter here, and thick wall, thick walls. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that one real quick. Let's see what I can do it with one hand. Let's check it out. Hopefully, it doesn't spin. Okay, let's see. There you go, that came out pretty easy. Look at that, all you need is a thick walls. Make sure we still align on top. Let's see, where are we? Yep, still pretty good. And we can remove that harmonic balance. All right, so we got this removed. Let's go ahead and remove this piece here. And we'll see if I can um, remove this by hand gonna be tight maybe you can tap it just a tad bit and we'll be able to remove it um trying to get a mallet Let's see if I can um, tap it just a little bit 
might need a puller for this one. If that doesn't work. I like to tap it with a little bit of hammer. If it doesn't move, just a little bit. If not, I'm gonna get something to, um, we need a puller for this one. Okay. Yeah, this is tight, so I'm gonna get a puller for this. Okay, because it's, um, we can pull the harmonic balancer, we got this puller, clamp it outside, and we use the bolt back in the middle. Make sure it's centered, and I'm just gonna crank it slowly. And this should come out slowly as well. So we have a tension on both sides. This side and that side. Thing is coming out very slowly. There you go. See that? There you go. You can hear it. I think you can. There you go. That's fully out. I believe it's fully out. Then I'm gonna keep going. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It's coming out. There you go. That's it. All right, once we remove this harmonic balancer, we can go ahead and um, remove the lower timing cover. They're like a couple 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, Run once it. you get that bolt out, you go. This one in the middle, but this one doesn't come with any. So, look at this really dirty and, uh, let's check this out see how dirty this is so that's our we're gonna remove this one i think this is the other way around it's supposed to be like that but we'll double check that again i think this is right So let's go ahead and um, clean this up. As you can see, it's a lot of oil there. Let's go ahead and clean that before we remove it. Make all that mess. Mm -mm, mm, mm. Okay. Right from here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just drain the um, the coolant. I'm gonna go on top, and it's gotta be in the bottom side down here see that drain yeah that one I'm gonna go ahead and um, open that up I do have a bucket already underneath and it goes straight there so got a bucket there I'm gonna go ahead and open this up just to let it breathe some more or drain faster. There you go, so I can reuse that. There you go. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. And then I'm gonna go ahead while I'm doing that. I can go ahead and remove the um, the timing belt. Alright, while we while we were draining the coolant, we're gonna get this tensioner. Loosen this one. This is um a 14 millimeter bolt just loose this one and we should be able to slide down the um timing belt so that was loose then here as you can see this has no tension anymore we can go ahead and slide this out this belt is pretty brand new still not even um 100,000 miles 
let's see 70,000 miles not even 80 so but we're gonna get a new one okay that's out let's go ahead and slide the belt out okay and this one we're gonna go ahead and align this one before um something happened with this one let's go ahead and realign that Thing just gonna back up just a tad bit more. Yeah, we should be aligned there, and we should be able to see. I'm still gonna look at the, the alignment marks on the hole instead of this one, but that looks pretty, pretty good on that one. All right, let's remove this belt. Okay, we're gonna get a new one on that one. We, this is the water pump here. We're gonna go ahead and tackle this one. We're gonna replace the water pump. All this pool here, so you can see this one. We're gonna remove all that. All right, once we get the belt off, let's go ahead and um, remove this um, tensioner. And they have a spring here. Let's go remove that. We're gonna replace this one. So, pull the bolts all the way out. That's out. Put that on the side. And then the um, this one here, another bearing here, another pulley. It's 14 millimeter. I think I got it loose already. Let's see. Got that loose. We're gonna remove this. This comes with our kit on the timing belt and water pump kit. We just move that. Make sure that it's out too. And after this, we're gonna go ahead and um, drain some more of this water pump. This is our water pump here. You can see. We're gonna remove this hose from the water um, for the um, thermostat. There will have some few more fluid there. So there's a 10 millimeter nut here and over here. We're gonna be removing that. We're gonna replace the whole housing here, not just the front side. All right, okay. and we can remove this bracket from the alternator. First, you get this clip here, the sensor. And then the bottom, there's a 12 millimeter bolt there. Move that one. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get that up. Get that. There you go, it's coming out. All right, bracket is out. The bolt is really long for this one. It goes hold the um, compressor as well. This is out. I'm gonna put this back in here so I won't lose this bolt. I just want to remove this bracket. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead. Um, um I'll put some more rag underneath so that we have more plug coming up from here let's remove this nut to get the thermostat housing it's gonna have more coolant coming out let's get this out this there you go it's pulling and it's pulling not too bad right now. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. Put it aside. Should be able to reuse that later. I'm pretty sure we can have more. We can have more um coolant coming out in a little bit, but from here. Can go ahead um let's go ahead check this out okay i'm gonna put this back here it's nuts i'm not sure if this comes with the kit but we can reuse that and then back here there's two more 10 millimeter nut back there um you can get this small ratchet socket 
It might work, it might not. Let's remove that back side. Okay. Or I might need a um I think I might need to get us um a wrench for this one. Because it's pretty tight in that location. So pulling down. I hope I won't break that one. You see what I'm talking about? All right, so once we remove that nut behind the, um, like here, I already loosened the 10 millimeter bolts around this area. I got one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna show you when I removed it. So you can see it start dripping now. Come on. Bear with me, okay? Start getting coolant. I'm gonna catch as much as possible I can so it doesn't make a mess here. So I'm gonna let it leak for a little bit more and then I'm gonna fully remove the whole thing. All right, I got all the five bolts out. I'm gonna try to pull this out. And from the back here, it should come out. Slowly, just trying to wiggle it as much as possible we can. should come out so it's this way unless we're missing one more bolt but I believe I have everything out it just has a, it has some um, gasket o-ring that with that one so I can technically pry it that side let me see if I can pry it I can pry it on this side here gently There you go. Starts coming up. I'm gonna put some light here so you all can see it. There you go. See that? I'm prying here. There you go. And we have this gasket here. We might need a new one for this one. You have a gasket here that will only come out if you remove the water pump so this water pump is kind of new it's not the whole housing you can see you have a sealant here so this is not they only replace this front of the water pump not the whole housing not the back side so I'll put this aside it's rusted so you can see back here this one is sealing it's sealed back here so we're gonna clean that up make sure they have a gasket there and this is the bolts here I didn't have to remove this one here because that's there but they got one two three four five technically it was six I think this one doesn't need to have to remove but I think it's six and the sixth, um, the big one is from the um, alternator bracket. So we're going to replace this one anyway. So that's good. We're going to clean that area before we start installing them all, 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 them, all of them. I'm just going to spray them because I will have to remove this old pump here. So I'm going to clean this area first. All right. So as you can see, this is the um, old pump housing the whole housing there couple bolts on top we're gonna go remove it to remove that we're gonna lift the whole car because of the all pan has to come out and let me show you so from here we still have to remove the whole all pan this one we, we can remove this one like um the crankshaft sprocket we can remove this one this is just slide out and they have guides there so you gotta be careful um we're gonna remove this um sensor here that's for the crank up crunch up sensor we're gonna remove that disconnect that and we're gonna drain the oil now and we can leave this one here because our set comes with this one too 
think that's the liquid is coming from, but I'm gonna replace the whole the whole piece of right. In order to remove the oil pan, we gotta drop the um, at least this area of the um, exhaust. So we have there's a bracket here. I have two two bolts that hold that one. I'll loosen this one and this. Let me see if I can I'm trying to do a little bit of shortcuts here. As you can see that one is loose. There's two bolts that hang in there. Size 12, it's right there. So that was is that's kind of removed from the top. The, this bracket has to come out. So we're gonna get that. I think size 14 for that one. Um, we're gonna drop this one from the top side. There's a um, hanger or bracket for this exhaust. We're gonna remove that too. We're gonna drop the car. Actually, we're gonna get this underneath those three nuts for the um, exhaust right there. Get that out. And then we should be able All to right, drop this. So we get those three nuts up there, right here. And then that's about to drop. So you can see it's moving. And we have two 12 millimeter here. So go, let's go ahead and remove that. So the whole thing will drop. That's one. And that's the second one. Let's go ahead and try to drop this here. There you go. Uh oh. So get that drop. This is good enough. That's all I need. Just need to um, let it hang. So just for us to remove the um, the pan. And there's another bracket here that we're gonna be removing. So be all right. Away. So I just removed the bracket. Was here. Just remove one. And these are free now. We can go ahead and remove this little rubber um, cover here. We might break this one, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a padding. Okay. Put it aside. Now we have two bolts here. We can go ahead and remove this um, panel here on the side because we kind of don't need it. As you can see. Um, that's gonna be in our way removing the pan and last two 10 millimeter to get this um, cover for the um, torque converter cover then we can go ahead and remove the rest of the 10 millimeter bolts for the open and we are free and let's get right so I got all the bolts out and two nuts you just gonna tap it out here to open it and then we're gonna catch it underneath show you from here this will come out then you can go ahead and remove this there you go and that's it that thing is out we're gonna go ahead and clean that out later but right now I'm worried about removing this just need to remove that out I'm gonna clean the bottom part too because there's a lot of silicone left in there. Let's see what it looks like down here. Okay. Alright, see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Let's get up so you can see. And I'm gonna clean this out before we put that oil pan back up. And same thing as the open itself. We're gonna clean all this. All right, but let's go ahead and remove the, um, the open, the oil pump from here. We're gonna remove the pickup tube. We got a 10 millimeter bolt there. I mean nut. Let's remove that first so we can transfer it to the new one. All right, it's time to remove this um, oil pump. We have like about. I don't know 15 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 10 millimeter bolts all around it and then it should be able to drop right so i got everything out all the bolts there so every time i remove a bolt on that i transfer it to the new one and when i remove the old one i'm gonna put it back so i know where which one goes 
see that yes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve actually this two is been here so we're not gonna touch that all right so it's time to remove this Let's see <clears throat> All right, so we got it here. Should be able to come out. No problem. There you go. That thing is out. That's just dirty. This is dirty. Look at that. Look at that oil here. Oil there. It's really dirty. We're going to clean that up. Before we do something else, get some brake cleaner, at least clean it. So we have that is such a mess. See that? That's such a mess. And it doesn't look like it has a gasket. I think the gasket's right here. Oh, look at this gasket here. Looks like it's been built in there. We need to replace that. Here, go ahead and clean that out real quick. Go ahead and clean that out. On the gasket, it's been really look like it won't come off. Been there. See if you can remove it still. You can see it. We're just gonna get this razor blade here. There you go. Somehow I'll pick it up. So we got this one here. That's it. That's how the metal gasket. That's pretty good. And it's still there. Just gonna clean this up. Let's go remove this. Clean that area and put a new gasket and a new oil pump. All right, so this is the old one that we have. I have everything labeled here, all the bolts there, and this is the new one, ready to go in. And we do have a, a brand new gasket. I'm, I'm not using the one came with that one because it was um. Let me see what it looked like. Let me show you. And. It's a Velcro. I don't want to use that, so I'm gonna use this Mali. This is like a metal gasket. We're gonna be using that, and then we're gonna install it here. We already cleaned this area, so you can see it's dry and clean. We're gonna start pulling there. We also clean the bottom of this for the pan, for the oil pan, and uh, this one I haven't cleaned it yet, but we're gonna clean that too. But Let's go ahead and install it here, and I'm going to have the bolts ready. Those are 8.8 newton .8 meter. That's the torque for that, so we're going to install it right now. Once we got everything on, we're gonna go and park it with 8.8, um, .8, let me see, 8.8 millimeter. There you go. I'm gonna start from the middle, then going outside. Make sure all of them are parked down and we shouldn't have any problem. So we got the bottom clean. We have this oil pump body put in and torqued down. 
that's torqued down to like 8.8 .8 newton meter and we just cleaned the um the um, old pan itself dry so we're ready to put um this um toyota seal pack in 103 all right FIPG. we have the all right pickup oil pickup install then we're ready to put the um the oil pan and we have the uh, sealant on it already we're gonna go ahead um go ahead get some screws here this one this fipg needs to be put on within 15 minutes and it dry pretty quick so we go ahead align it just have to make sure that everything is aligned and not touching anything here because you know, when everything goes in properly if we gain lucky so that's good here I think the other side should be okay too okay just hold it put some few screws around here just to hold it up okay my hand might be in the way we're not torquing it yet we're just putting the screws some bolts just to hold it up because you want this um sealant to um dry a little bit before we torque it so I'm, I'm gonna make it close to 15 minutes so everything is in I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the screws in just to hold it up then we're gonna go ahead and torque it within 15 minutes all right once we put these bolts we're gonna go ahead and um, torque them down to um, 5.4 newton meter it's not much so we're gonna do this um, from the middle going out alternately and then after this we're gonna go forward um put like all these underneath all this on the all right after that let's go ahead put these back and go ahead and install this back here i think it goes this way if i'm not mistaken all right maybe this way oh no the cover first we're gonna put the cover first. This one goes there. And with um, two 10 millimeter bolts on top. All right, then we're gonna go get this bracket next. I believe this goes about, let's see. I'm not mistaken. We go this way. Just gonna go in between this. <coughs> I didn't remove the whole, the whole, um, what do you call this, exhaust, so we just have it installed there, this bolt goes back to here, let's see, alright, that's in, and we got two more big bolts that's attached down the side, so that's what we're gonna do it from here, this side let's see if we can see it yeah that side it's two big bolts there and there you go yep this one is in the way it's kind of hard to remove at first but not too bad so that's like a 14 millimeters so we're gonna tighten them and then we can put these um bracket back this sauce back Next is this one, this bracket that we have. I'm just gonna put it here in the right location here. You'll be able to remove this at ease. Same thing as putting it back, of course. There's two bolts here. 
let's see. I can put it in again. All right. There we go. One in. I dropped the other bolt, but um, after this, we're gonna lift this um, whole exhaust to um, connect it from the top. With three nuts. Let me see if I get this up again. Okay, that's in. Let me pick up the other bolt that I just dropped. Oh, all right. Keep my tripod. So this one, your foot is here, and. You know, I like doing shortcuts if possible, like this one. So that one can go up there and catch it. And then up on top should be able to um let's see. Should, let's see, get some light here. Yeah, those up there should be able to see it. Let's see. That should go in there get the nut connect that and then should leave it down here. underneath here we got these two bolts here to install don't forget this bracket here and then this is the one we have um the three nuts that holds that exhaust everything tight i also tight this one just to double check the old plugs i know it's a mess here but it's gonna be dry soon and the thing I believe is we're about to install some um, on the water pump side. We're gonna put the um, water pump tension air and the the pulley over there. All right, let's go ahead and drop the car. Install right from it. here. We can go ahead and install this bracket. Put it in the same spot over here. There you go. That should be aligned. Then, all right, let's not forget this um, crankshaft sensor. Can I go ahead and put it there? All right, right there. And then we're gonna go next to the um, the water pump. Assembly. Okay, these are water pump kit, timing belt kit, PKT002. And because we have the whole housing here for the water pump, we have a lot of gasket that we need to put in. So one of them is this one. That one is one of the flat one here. It's pretty obvious. And all the water the hose. The new here. water comes with these little studs. You need to install them. I just installed them in this side too. And um, we had a gasket that need to be installed. This one here. So we're gonna, and then there's another gasket, doesn't go here but on the other side. So let's go ahead, drop the car and install on the top. This. These are the gaskets that we need to replace. You're gonna remove these. We got gasket for that. And here we already removed that one. We have a new gasket for that too. This one here. And I think, I believe that's it for that. All right, let's go ahead and install this water pump housing. Let's go ahead. We got a gasket here and also here. So drop it here. Make sure it's aligned on this side. Let me see if I can show you this side. Make sure that you have it um inserted. This one here. So there's a gasket you make sure that's in all the way there you go and we have um nuts for that make sure you i'm gonna do that first just to hold it and then after that okay i'm gonna go put the bolts here right by the water pump all right and then the um we're gonna go ahead torque we got three water pump bolts here this hard need to be torqued to um, um let me see 8.8 millimeter this right here so i'm gonna go ahead um torque them down 
that doesn't take a lot of foot pounds. I mean, newton meter. It says 8.8, .8, so you don't want to over torque them. All right, this is set to um, 8.76. That's good enough for me. So let's go ahead. That's good. Around here, and this is we're gonna tighten this one. This is 9.6 newton meter. So we'll do that, and let's connect these um, thermostat. All right, here. then let's go ahead and put this um, thermostat. This is thermostat, it's like I just put it like a month ago, so I'm gonna reuse it as a good gasket as well. And we're not reusing it, comes with a new gasket, um, the water pump gasket on the kit, but I'm just gonna reuse this one. This one goes right here, and we should be able to put this, install it properly. Okay. I'm gonna get the nut for those if I can find them. All right, and this is the same as 9.8 newton meter, so just torque them, should be good, and then we're almost. The next we're gonna put the um, tensioner and the um, pulley. All right, next stop okay. is we're gonna put this pulley down here, that letter G. Put this pulley here. It goes around over here. All right, let's see. And we're gonna find the torque spikes for that in a little bit. So that's the pulley that we have. Right there. Um, let me see if um, length of the tension is spring. Okay, I'm gonna find the torque spec for that in a little bit. But this one, I'm just gonna hand tie it here. And then the next one, we're gonna put the this um tension tensioner that we have. Um, timing belt tensioner. Open this up real quick, and we're gonna put the new new bolt, and it comes with a spring. I'm not sure if you have a brand new springs here. Yeah, I don't see any springs, but that will work. We have a springs here, so this go go like this, facing down. Okay. Two pins. I think it's one. One pin goes on top, right there. So it will have a movement. But if you want, let's go ahead and clean the back side. Make sure it will go in pretty good. This slides pretty good too. Let's go ahead and um, put this bolt here. Okay. We're not gonna tighten this yet. We're not gonna torque this until we put the belt in. So that's all the way there. There you go. It's flat. As much as possible that we want. There you go. Then we're gonna put the springs in this one. Let me just clean this real quick. Okay, there's a lot of grease in there, so. That's good. Get the pin. One hook in here. Another side hook up here. Let's see if we can stretch it. There you go. So that's the springs. Should be able to move it up and down. So I'm not gonna tighten it yet. It's good. Then we're getting ready for torque specs for this um, pulley and then we're gonna put the belt in all right there are 42 newton meter so we're gonna torque this other pulley too I want um, the stationary one not the um, it's 
see. There we go. That's torqued. Spins pretty good. This one we're not gonna torque it yet. Then we're gonna put the okay, so we're gonna go ahead um before I put the belt in, we're gonna go ahead um push this all the way down. Let's get um, a good one here. Put that all the way down. As much as you can. There you go. And then tight it. At this point, we just wanted to um, have more space before we put the, the belt in. It's not going to have um, in a way. And this one is going to retract the, the belt later. It's just tight there. We're going to lose that later. Then make sure our camshaft is at a top dead center. You're going to look at the... Um, the hole over here should be able to see the hole let's see see this should have a mark there let's see if we can see there's the mark i can kind of see it i don't know if you can see it the marks right there so we're top dead center and we have that marking on top here too and the top dead center at the crankshaft right here and then we didn't even move it we have a mark in here too. Right on. Let's see. Right there. That's your marking. Up there. That's our marking up there. It's a notch. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and put the um array belt in. Time here. belt on. We actually started from the crankshaft here. Go around here on the um, oil pump sprocket but going up on the right side go to your um, pulley and up to the water pump here and then on the left side goes around the um, the tensioner and then you want to pull this one up here instead of routing this one first so make sure this is not too loose not too tight either so that's good and then after that we're gonna go ahead Put this in. Let's go ahead. Put this over here. And then we're gonna get our lower cover. I believe I have it here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this just a little bit. Here we get the lower tightening cover. Let's go ahead and install this harmonic balancer. Hopefully this is going pretty easy because it was hard to remove it but this time let's see let's see if we can go ahead um knock this just a little bit hopefully it'll go in pretty quick there we go going in let's go ahead put the um the bolt back we're just gonna tight it not too tight make sure it's tight there then we're gonna go ahead try to spin it around and see if our marking are still aligned let me go check from the top This is just a bit off, but we'll see. We're gonna spin it around. We'll see. I'm gonna do two counterclockwise, no, no, two clockwise, and we'll see if it's um the belt is still on. But before that, let's go ahead and loosen this this one here, the tensioner. Let's loosen that one slowly so we'll catch it. Let's see. There you go. Now it should be tight. I'm not gonna torque that yet, but as long as it's like loose just a little bit there. 
That's what we need. There you go. I'm tight just a little bit. We're not gonna torque that yet. Make sure we're gonna spin it around. We'll see if it's in time. All right, right this is good. our first clockwise. As you can see, we are pretty close. Let me see. On that mark, camshaft is close to the mark. I'm gonna go ahead turning and I'm on the mark zero the crankshaft is aligned there you go and check the camshaft if it's still aligned that's looking good and over here is looking pretty good too see that see the marking but that's the first um, spin. We're gonna go ahead and do a second spin. Right, we'll pretty see close the to the second one. Line. Camshaft, as you can see, right here. That's the marking from the back and the hole. It's not quite there yet because I'm gonna go ahead and align it from the crankshaft. Let's see the crankshaft here. I need a light. There you go. Make sure that line go to the zero marking. Getting close. This one is getting close too. And that is dead center on a zero. And then right here, our camshaft. Let's check it. From, from the paint mark, it's pretty good. But this is what we want to know. There you go. Marking is perfect. Perfect. That's what we're going to do. That's awesome. Then we're going to go ahead and um, loose this one and torque. Fully loose the um, crankshaft. I mean the, um, the tensioner here. And then we're going to torque it forward to get the second one aligned. What we're going to do, I'm going to spin one more time. But we're going to stop on this line over here. The, the, the timing mark need to stop here, which is that mark needs to stop somewhere over here. Then, we, then we're going to torque it to 42 foot pounds on the... All right, so this it. marking here, we have that marking over here. Let's go ahead, we can show you guys. There you go. It's hard to see, but we're right there. The marking somewhere there. Then we gotta torque that one. All right. So pounds. we torque down the 12 tensioner, which is a 42 newton meter. Uh, like we can go ahead and put this um upper timing cover. I think I'm missing some screws here, some bolts, but it will work. All right, after that upper um, timing cover, let's put the alternator bracket it's facing this way and it goes down onto that. It goes over there. All right, so that's tight there. We're, not get, we're gonna leave it loose here because we wanna be able to adjust this one. Just snug. There you go. That's not, well, that's not snug, but anyway. Um, we're not gonna put the alternator yet. We're gonna lift it up and work on the power steering, um, power steering belt and the rest underneath. And we're gonna go ahead and put the alternator and put the belt for that. Okay, let's go ahead and put the power steering um, belt. Um, start it with the crankshaft. Go all the way behind it. So from the top because there's a marking there that can be in the way. And then start it back here on the um, power steering pump. You can spin it if you like to. Let's see. It should go in pretty easy now. Oh, you can start from the top. There you go, spin it.
there you go then from there you're gonna adjust it you can try get a um, pry bar so it will move and then you're gonna um, just go ahead tight this um adjuster here to make it tighter use the pry bar to push that so you got a little bit uh tensor there tension there and then tight on the 12 millimeter bolt there let's go ahead and pry this out just a little bit so we'll make a little tension here and then go ahead um 12 millimeter bolt a gold one on the end We can tighten that one. There you go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and install this uh, dog bone bracket. It goes this way. Got two bolts here. This is about, um, I think, 14, 14 millimeter. We're gonna put it there and then align it. Okay, that do um, dog bone bracket is hard to align down there. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install this first. This three here. There's another bracket here and install the the dog bone bracket right here one of the long bolt and with that with that being installed you kind of know how far is the bottom going in there so it's pretty much aligned so let's go ahead and put this in first all right and then lift this up See this one here? This will go here. And with that, you know how how tall it's gonna be up here. And then the bottom, all you're gonna do is like swivel swivel it and it should be able to be aligned. Once you have that in, you can go ahead and um, install this dog bone here. Right. Should be like this. Be pretty easy all right and then I'm gonna tighten them all and while you're here you can might as well install this negative cable there we go and let's tighten this thing all up. right after we tighten everything with the dog bone and the brackets here we can go ahead and install this um the alternator Put the alternator here. Let's go ahead. Make sure that's in. Get this bracket down the bolt. The long bolt goes here. From left to right. And I can go ahead and tighten that one. I think the size 14 as well. Let's go get the size 14. Put it tighter yet? Just we can now install this little adjuster bracket here for the um, alternator here. This one goes. Let's see, go from the outside, and so we gotta adjust this one. I gotta lose that just a little bit. All more. right, so let's go ahead install this. Uh, this is facing this way. The hole facing forward to the car. It goes to the um, bracket here. We're not gonna fully tight this yet. Just trying to install it. And then the um, this long bolt here goes down here. So uh, to adjust the the tension for the belt. So we're gonna put this in place, snug tight it, and then we're gonna put the belt in. All right, this time we're gonna grab the belt. Um, this one's pretty good belt. We're gonna go ahead, put it underneath the um, 
AC compressor. Same thing underneath with the um, with the crankshaft. So once it's down there, you're gonna pull it up. While pulling it up, make sure it goes around the crankshaft pulley and also with the um, AC compressor and then the alternator is the last one then we're gonna tighten it see that you can adjust it up and down in whatever position that you like okay and then we're gonna drop this all the way down this one is the one to make it tighter this big bolt here the long bolt so, <clears throat> there you go that's a size 12 so you gotta put a little bit of tension not too much see that this is soft so let's go ahead move it up some more sure everything is a little bit snug here these two and we can go ahead and tight the bracket down here because you don't want it loose tension here so tight this one here that's tight so, let's see. And then when this tight you can adjust this one here whatever tension you like and then after that you're gonna tighten the back side here all right and that's so it. once we got everything connected the belt we can go ahead and install the electrical connector that we just removed prior so this one goes up here we get a plug here make sure it clicks cover that up and we got this one goes here and go ahead put it there and then the um, AC compressor make sure you have that remember removing that too right there Let's see if we can that in all right come on now there you go clicks and then the, um, the ac for the um alternator it's okay plug this in and then don't forget there's another cover for this one um i think i have it somewhere i think it's right here there you go gonna cover it up here and then double check our work make sure no wiring or connectors in the way when the belt is moving tight everything we have the ground connector here we're gonna check underneath here too if everything is okay after that we're gonna go ahead uh, put the negative cable and start the car and see if we have any more leak all right and couple it, things guys. that you don't want to forget is this one you have to torque this to 80 foot pounds. I know it's gonna be hard to torque this one here. So you're gonna have um a holder. And then All we're right. torque this down. Hold on. Before everything, don't forget to torque this um crank bolt. This is gonna be um 80 foot pounds. So I have this one here. That's it. That's 80 foot pounds there. There we go. And then, also, what you don't need to forget is to add, fill up the coolant, coolant, bleed it, and we're gonna top some oil with um, 5W30. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and um, start right. the car. So the car is started. Make sure you have a coolant in and oil. Uh, it's been running for 10-15 minutes now. I don't see what you're gonna check is if we have any coolant leak here by the um, new water pump that we install. Also, if everything is running smoothly here on your belt and from the bottom side here, of course, you're gonna check if there's any coolant leak around this area. If you hear any uh, weird noises and also, of course, the major cool um, 
oil leak that we have from the oil pump everything seems okay so we're good to go so right now we're just gonna put the cover back here and that's it guys and that's how you replace this um timing belt water pump for this um year 2000 toyota camry also what did the um the oil pump as well so these are kind of like all together with that one so i hope you like this video guys if you have any question don't forget to like and subscribe you can comment me all right guys till next time peace